What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? Icarus Complex. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 22 months. Let me switch over. Boom. Boom. <laughs> well, 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 Grumpy Goddess. Look who it is. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Too early for beer. Bust them good. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> What's up, Hero of Time? What are you doing? Funky Tribal. Good to see you. Cool comment. Hello, hello. <laughs> Professor Poncham. I never thought I'd get to see that beard ever again. <laughs> Yo, the beard is getting shaggy. Me and Tefty were talking, like, what do we do about these beards? He's like, bandana. Gotta do a bandit bandana. I'm like, that's a damn good idea, Tefty Teft. That's the best idea that Tefty Teft may have ever had. <laughs> How are the sound levels? Can you guys hear the game? Can you hear me okay? Just let me know in the chat. And uh, we'll get started. Today we're going to be playing some old Capcom games. Some old Capcom arcade classics on the Mister. If you don't know what the Mister is, it's a FPGA-based console, game console. It's pretty cool. Grumpy Goddess, thank you for 17 months. I'm not getting any alert sound, which is concerning. I don't know why that would be. Oh, because there's no alerts set up in this. Oh, I'll have to fix that next time. This is a brand new stream layout for 4x3, and I forgot to put alerts in there. Show me that mister, mister. <laughs> I can't say mister without Watts just completely cracking up. <laughs> if you watch Side Quest, every time I talk about the mister, every time I say I'm playing with my mister, Watts is in stitches. <laughs> Is it that kind of stream now? It's always that kind of stream. <laughs> I crack up every time you say it too. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna. Whoop, there goes the remote control for the. I got a um, M30 controller here, plugged in via USB to the Mister, and let's see. We're going to be checking out. Uh, can I back up? CPS-1. So CPS-1 is a Capcom arcade board um, that has a ton of classic games that most of them were ported. I'm excited to see Briar struggle to DP <laughs> to Dragon Punch. Most of them were ported over to consoles. Well, a lot of them were ported over to consoles. Uh, things like Final Fight, you'll remember. Ghouls and Ghosts, you'll remember. I think Knights of the Round. Magic Sword, definitely. Mega Man Power Battle, I don't think ever got brought over to consoles. Mercs definitely did. Nemo, I think got a version, but not the same as the arcade. Uh, Street Fighter, we got Street Fighter 2 World Warriors. We got Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, and we got Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, as well as Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams, which is awesome. We also got Strider, which I don't know if you guys remember the Genesis version of Strider. It was an amazing game. This is actually the arcade version, which is even better, but it's very difficult. And I haven't figured out how to continue in that game. So I get like three lives and that's it. So I don't make it very far, unfortunately. Mohican, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, King of Dragons, Three Wonders, UN Squadron, which is actually, I'm not big on shooters, but this is a pretty fun game. Barth, Willow, which I love. I love Willow the movie, and I love Willow the video games. The NES Classic and the Arcade as well. Briar Struggling, that is the content, sir. <laughs> what did you come for? <laughs> I'm going to struggle with my mister. Uh, and I think we're going to start off with Street Fighter. Um... Now, what's amazing about this version of Street Fighter, so this is the arcade version of Street Fighter, and it's actually frame perfect to the arcade, so there's no input lag. There's very little input lag. I think it's been measured at .0036 frames, so, like, it's imperceptible. It's there, but it's imperceptible. It's it's less than, like, a nanosecond. Of, well, I don't know. That's I'm making shit up now. I don't, I don't actually know. It's very low input lag. <laughs> my kid is helping me with my homework. <laughs> D 
CCB, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so let's play a little Street Fighter. Um, I got to insert a coin. I inserted three. And uh, is it Ryu, Ru, or Ryu? Does anybody know? I've actually been wondering this for like 25 years. <laughs> All right, let's get a little punch. It's been a little while. I can't get a Dragon Ball out. Oh. oh, I didn't hit her with that. There we go. Fireball. Fireball. Oh, fireball. Oh, fireball. Oh, fireball. Oh, man. <laughs> it's Ryu. I don't know. It's not Ryu. Ryu. What's in the cup? Coffee. Oh, that dragon punch, though. <laughs> Suck that. Oh, God. Lord Rue. I was concerned there weren't going to be any more streams with that glorious beard. <laughs> Ryu, for sure. Are you sure it's Ryu? I thought it was Ryu. R Y U. Ryu. Ryu. <laughs> Lord Rue. Lord Rue. I used to play this game at the arcade, and I remember there was this one kid. Who could use Zangief? Is it Zangief or Zangief? <laughs> Speaking of names I can't pronounce. There's this one dude who could use Zangief. He could go flawless by basically against everybody in the arcade. Like, he was so damn good. <laughs> Is it Zangief or Zangief? So why would one play this over Fightcade? What's a Fightcade? I don't know what a Fightcade is. I should hook up a a uh, joystick for this, but I'm just using a gamepad. I do have an arcade stick. Oh, I missed the, uh... Oh, no! Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna go with the super move. See, the one thing about this so far, you can um, pause it, which is weird, but you can actually see this was developed by a guy named, uh, 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 what's his name? Zotego? Z Jotego. Jotego. And uh, the one thing I'd like to see is to get into the dip switches to change how difficult the game is and change like continues and stuff. Fightcade is an arcade emulator that lets you play hundreds of old games, but it's mostly used for fighting games. So the difference between that and this is that's an emulator, a software emulator, and the Mister is a hardware simulation. So you load ROMs on it like you would with a, with a software emulator, but what this has is an FBA chip that actually can be programmed to simulate the actual hardware of the original hardware so you get cycle accuracy you get less lag it's really amazing um, and it's got a ton of cores available uh, including this capcom cps1 core um, genesis super nintendo nes pc engine or turbo graphics in the united states um, atari several atari consoles several computers from the 80s and 90s, like the um, Apple II and like uh, Commodore 64, stuff like that, Amiga. Um, so it's 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 a multifunctional device. It's miss it's a Mister Piece. It really is. It's pretty amazing. Hey Hugo, how's it going, man? Good to see you. 
I'm gonna have to go get more coffee soon. But I gotta jump over the thing. It's a two-handed part of this. The rest I can do with one hand. Street Fighter was one of the two games they had at the Pizza Hut when I was growing up. I don't think I ever walked, went to an arcade until I was 20. Yeah, we had an arcade in our mall called Tons of Fun. And that's where I was first exposed to Street Fighter 2. The arcade was something kind of cool to stop in to. Until Street Fighter made an appearance, and then it was an all-consuming obsession. <laughs> and I never got good at Street Fighter 2. Um, even after it came out for the Super Nintendo, I got it for the Super Nintendo when it came out. Um, but even then, after that, I didn't ever get good at it. Uh-oh. Uh, but I that didn't hurt my enjoyment of it. Tons of fun. Isn't that what Mrs. Rabbit calls you? <laughs> so if you wanted to play online, I don't think I could do that with this. I would have to use uh, something like... Um, I wanted to play online. Probably the easiest would be to play like the Capcom... Or the Street Fighter 2 30th Anniversary Collection on the PlayStation or the Switch. This does have internet access, but I don't think it's set up to do that. Which version did you get for the NES? NES? Mighty Sandwich, I bought every version that they made. <laughs> like I, was, I, was, I was buying what they were selling. <laughs> and it was excessive, because they sold every version that they came out with in arcades. I, as far as I know. I know that they sold the first one, World Warriors. Then they sold uh, Champion Edition, which just added the four boss characters as playable characters. Then they made um, Turbo, which I think is hyper fighting. Uh, there's probably people smarter than me that know more about this stuff than I do. Ooh, that one hurt. Then they made Super Street Fighter 2. I bought that. I think that's where I fell off the Super Nintendo's train like so i bought i think i bought four versions of street fighter 2 in the 90s for the super nintendo um let's do another game so i'm gonna change to you know what i'm gonna do street fighter alpha street fighter alpha did get a version for the super nintendo but i never bought it i think i bought street fighter 2 or street fighter alpha the only version of Street Fighter Alpha I ever bought was for the Dreamcast, which unfortunately I don't still have. I wish I kept that. Rainbow Edition? I don't have Rainbow Edition, but that is available for the Mist there. Actually, Hyper Fighting and ST are different. Are they? Okay. Um, If I go to Arcade, Tago... Alternatives? Mm, I don't think it's in here. I think you can get Rainbow Edition, though. My dad owned an arcade when we were growing up. Get out. Thursday was pickup money day, so Thursday night was free play for me and my sister. After closing, great memories. That must have been amazing. Does it simulate a 56K? No, it actually has, like, real internet. Because what you can do is actually... Um, let me see here. You can actually go in and update it. I think I got to reset it to do that. You know what? For funsies, though, I'll do that. Unfortunately, the Elgato, Elgato uh, cuts out when you reset it. So what I can do is it's got these scripts on it. And this is actually how you update it. Uh, is with these scripts. You can do all sorts of stuff with these. You can change, you know, uh, video modes. You can do all sorts of stuff. But if you update it, then this updates all the cores to the to the newest versions. If you do this update retro-driven MAME, it actually downloads new versions of all the games. Not all the um, console games, but all the arcade games, which is amazing. 
Um, I haven't done that yet today. Usually I try and do that right before I play it. All right, so let's go back to Street Fighter Alpha. I actually love the Alpha series. Alpha 2 and Alpha 3 were some of my favorites. There was, I think Alpha 2 or Alpha 3 came out on the PSP, and that was the reason I kept the PSP as long as I did. Having Wilson so toxic on DCP last week made me miss Revolver Live so much. Me too, Hugo. I was I had so much fun on DCP last week in the pre-show and in like the main show. I was I felt like I was just laughing the entire night. It was so fun to hang out with Wilson again. You know what I want to do is I want to get Gary on DCP. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. Uh, we'll go with, you know what, I'll go with Ken. Purple Ken. And uh, we'll go Old Man Speed. I don't have any idea how much this thing is, but I just about put my wallet through the screen. <laughs> you, it starts at about 130 bucks for like a basic kit. Um, it's very much like a DIY kind of thing. To get fully set up, like with everything, and to be able to play like all the Neo Geo cores, um, I, I spent around $500 to get a case, to get all the plugs and adapters. I also have it set up so I can play it on a CRT. I got a CRT screen behind me. Oh, how does this look? I have it set up for scan lines and that might look shitty on stream. So I'm going to turn that off actually. See if that looks better. I don't think scan lines are easy for encoders. What year did uh, Alpha come out? Did that come out? It, it came out after Super, right? Zangief from Super Mario Wilds? Shut the front door. I stayed up till 2 a.m. to watch the start, but you bastards kept me up until nearly 5 a.m. Really good episode. It got a really positive response, except from a few people. We got one guy on Patreon said, the drug use stuff has made me quit your Patreon. And that upset Pope Bear. <laughs> and I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then one person, I can't remember his name, and he approached it really nice, so I wouldn't want to drag him through the mud anyway. But he kind of called me out on Twitter. He's like, that was a hilarious episode. I really enjoyed it. You guys were hilarious. But six beers might be a bit much for a live TV show, Briar. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> uh, I had fun, though. Like, I, I kind of needed that. You know, the social distancing stuff is driving me crazy. It really is. Um... And I think I'm going to stream more because of it. Because I think it's it's healthy for me to be able to hang out with you guys. <laughs> so, in a completely self-interest, uh, out of complete self-interest, I think I'll be streaming more. <laughs> uh, I got to play some Destiny for sure. Because things are happening that I've got to play Destiny for. And... I also, I've been just into retro gaming, so I'm going to be doing some more retro gaming streams as well. Oh, boy. That might be it. Oh, uh, I thought he was going to be closer. I thought he was jumping all the way across the screen. Oh, he got me. You don't need to play Destiny, Briar. Laugh at my ass off. Just send your money to Eververse. Right? Just cut out the middleman of me actually playing Destiny. <laughs> Ow. Guy. This is why they left you out of Final Fight on the SNES, guy. Because you're an asshole. <laughs> oh, boy. That was actually a cool move. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Guy.
Are there people actually named Guy? That's like being named Dude. Oh! Oh, I tried to do my super there. We're as good as six beers. <laughs> do you have Killer Instinct for PC? Um, probably. Is that part of Xbox Game Pass? I'm not your buddy, guy. <laughs> I'm not your guy, pal. Oh, yeah, Guy Ferrari. That's right. Is that his real name? Fieri? Is it Fieri or Ferrari? On hard difficulties, Rose gives me fits. I'm, I have a hard time beating her. When I had this on PC... PCP. I'm PSP. <laughs> That's the new name of PSP is PCP. When I was doing PCP, it was really hard to beat Rose. Oh, she just blocks all the time. Ow. Oh, I thought I had my dragon punch there. Nope. Nope. Oh, she got me. Seen a lot of people playing Killer Instinct since they stuck at home, and it has amazing netcode. I played it when it came out. Um, I think I must own it because I think I played it when it came out before the Xbox thing. If I own it on Xbox, do I own it on PC as well? I know some games you do and some games you don't, right? Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> this game I'm surprised that is actually out because I didn't know it came on CPS1 but apparently there was this home version of the CPS1 in Japan that they made this game for they made a cartridge of this game for a home version of the CPS1 in, in Japan which is crazy if you can imagine owning like a CPS-1 arcade hardware for your home. Like, how rich do you got to be, right? I wonder how much that costs. Oh! Oh, do I get her? Nope. Oh, put on the big hurt. Uh-oh. <laughs> There we go. Yes, you do. You'll have all the DLC if you have Game Pass. Oh, really? That's worth checking out again. Has crossplay with console and Steam. Probably about the same as your mister. <laughs> What's up, Neos? Welcome. Look at this guy, Birdie. You think a lot of people make fun of his name? Maybe that's why he started working out. Everybody in high school made fun of his name. Hey, here comes Birdie. He turned into this monster. Started pumping iron. Grew a badass mohawk dressed in leather and chains. All for naught, though, because he still got his ass whipped by Ken. <laughs> still got his ass whipped by Ken. Stop jumping, asshole. <laughs> there we go. Come on over, birdie. Uh-oh. That's not going to end well. Oh! Oh! Birdie! How are you going to do me like that? Oh. There we go. We got him. Hit him with that super. That super dupe. Oh. All for not. Everybody used to just flip him the bird constantly in high school. <laughs> he just likes the musical Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> oh! 
Hey, when is that uh, real life uh, Mortal Kombat thing happening that the UFC is doing? You hear about that? The UFC is bringing a bunch of fighters out to like some deserted island somewhere. <laughs> They're like flying them out there. <laughs> The kid at, kids at his school would just break out into the birdie song ad nauseum. There was a dance and everything. <laughs> All right, let's switch games here. Um, we'll do... Why don't we just start at the top, right? Just kind of work our way down. I'm actually not familiar with 1941 Counter-Attack. I know, like, the 1941, 42, 43 series. Like, I kind of know what it is-ish. It's like a plane, and sometimes you're fighting in... In, uh... World War II, and sometimes you're fighting, like, aliens, I guess? I don't even know what this is. Canceled. Canceled. I remember the first Street Fighter I played was X-Men vs. Street Fighter in San Francisco and got my ass kicked by Ken and Gambit. Yeah, that is not an easy game coming into your first time. <laughs> All right, so 1941 Counter-Attack. This one looks like it's it's in Tate mode, Tate mode. Maybe I should get, maybe I should do like a second, um, I don't play that many supers. Uh, shooters. Oh, is it not working? There it goes. Oops, I paused it. Oh, I might have to set up the define buttons. Right, left, down, up. Start, coin, pause. No. There we go. All right, C bash. Does it have auto fire? No. I hate when shooters don't have auto fire. I am a flying god. The plane is cool looking, isn't it? Smallish, I guess. Is that a weapon upgrade? Nice. Do I take damage from hitting the sides? I don't really play that many shooters. Ikaruga this is not, though, so... It looks like it's that difficult. <laughs> it's no bullet hell shooter, for sure. Oh! I almost died right there. Actually... Looks like I can take multiple hits. Oh, is that a power-up? Lasers. How do I shoot sideways? Every once in a while, my guy shoots sideways. I don't know how to do it. Power, power, power! <laughs> Everything must die! Why is it beeping at me? Oh, because I'm almost dead, I think. Oh, I am dead. Continue. Uh, I think not. Let's see what else we got here. Oops. Uh, core. Quiz. Some quiz game. Captain Commando. I don't even know what this is either. Future weapons. It's beeping because you equipped Prometheus Lens. <laughs> Captain Commando, other country. How's everybody doing with the uh, social distancing and everything? Y'all making it through it okay?
Uh, A, B, X, Y. Okay. I gotta do the thing. For each one of these games, you have to kind of define the controls. Oh, let's see. Start. Coin. Pause. No. All right. This is, must be a beat em up. I find beat em ups to be kind of boring. Usually they're kind of cool to see like the first time. And then after that, you're like, eh, I'm still going to work each day. All right, Mummy Commando, Ninja Commando, Baby Commando, and Captain Commando. Dude, I'm all over this Mummy Commando. What's this guy about? Doing okay, my missus works for the NHS, so she's still working, and I can work from home, but I've got the week off this week. Oh, that's nice. Currently doing my virtual office hours for my students. Following some more Ultraman lately, currently watching Tiger. Tiger. Yeah, I've watched all of Netflix. <laughs> I finished Amazon Prime and Netflix. Are these guys smoking? Unbelievable. In a game for children? What kind of role models are you? This game looks kind of nice. It looks like Final Fight, really. It probably is Final Fight underneath, right? Did that guy just melt? Do I have a super or anything? This guy's got, like, knives, which is kind of neat. He doesn't look much like a mummy, though. He just looks like a really skinny pink dude. Maybe, like, an alien or something? I'm not getting money, mummy vibes at all. Oh, I can ride on this? How do I ride on it? Oh, nope. What's up, Jay? Got me into the show Chuck. Binge that in community. I love the show, and it just got added to Netflix. I used to like Chuck a lot. Did that show get canceled or did it just like go off the air? Did it like finish naturally? Community was good too. What's with the hammer? Oh, I missed the hammer because I'm in the mech. Is this guy a boss? Because I'm fucking him up. I guess he's only the first boss. <laughs> oh, he got me. How do I get right on it? I didn't really establish that. Oh, he just bashed me into the wall. Oh, God, this guy's got a rocket launcher. Yo, Bevel Up, thank you so much for 38 months. Hey, cool cats and kittens. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you're doing well, Bevel. How are you? The good guy looks like one of the bad guys. <laughs> Watching Pryor play with his mister. <laughs> are you guys testing out the emulator or an upscaler or something? This is a, it's called a mister. It's a, um... It's a little box that has a chip called an FPGA in it, which is a field programmable chip. It's a programmable chip that you can program to act like other chips. Um, and what that allows people to do is program the chip to act like um, consoles and computers and uh, arcade cabinets from the 80s and 90s, which is super cool because you get basically perfect emulation of those old games. So what we're playing today is the CPS-1 core, um, which was, this is a beta release by a guy named Jotego. And he developed it. PS1, PS2 simulation someday? Maybe. Maybe. Did you guys see the Polymega? 
I've seen a little bit of uh, like kind of early beta reviews of that, and that that's a cool device. What it does is it it has a disc drive in it, and you can play um, early disc games like PS1, Sega Saturn, um, and there's one other Neo Geo CD in it. It's kind of neat, but it's expensive. It's like 300 bucks. I think it's 300 bucks today only. Actually, if you buy it after today, it'll be 400 bucks, which is a lot. <laughs> Especially considering that you can, it's an emulation device, not a FPGA. And you can uh, do all that on a computer already. Which is, makes it a tough sell to me. Also, I don't collect uh, disc media because disc karat is a thing. Maybe they can use that. Press the ride on button, like it says. <laughs> Don't you have a ride on button? Where is the any key? Is this guy named Shit Rom Jr.? Wow, what is that move about? I think something's goofed up right now. I think there should be like a, a counter. So this is still a beta. Something's goofy. I'm just going to reset it. All right. Yo, Hugo. Thank you for 24 months. Paying to watch you play with your mister? Well, why not? These are interesting times after all. Hey, man. I've been playing a little Final Fantasy VII. And uh, that really inspired me to play with my mister. <laughs> Have you guys been playing Final Fantasy VII? God damn, that game is fun. Carrier Air Wing. I don't know what this is. We're going to check it out. Funky Tribal. Glad to see you, too. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm ready for the social distancing stuff to stop. I am going stir crazy. Stir crazy, I say. I was talking to my mother on the phone. And uh, she just retired. I'm like, Jesus, what a time to retire. <laughs> you retire, there's literally nothing to do. Amazon UK are out of stock of Final Fantasy VII's, and it's $60 on PSN, and I really don't want to pay $60. They're out of stock? Amazon UK? Huh. That actually makes sense. Did I lose sound? Nope, there it is. All right. Um, fine. Oh, shit. I did it again. Alright. Insert coin. Start. This is just a side-scrolling shooter. I probably won't play this for long. Never played a Final Fantasy before. Not really my thing. May wait for a sale. I, uh... I, Final Fantasy is not my thing, either. But I am gobsmacked in love with Final Fantasy Remake, man. It's just so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> me and my wife never watches me play video games. She, she's not a video game person. Move that camera a little bit to center myself. And uh, she's been watching it, watching me play it. And she's been just completely entertained. Am I supposed to select a weapon? I don't know what they do. Um, this one's got an explosion on it, so that one's good, right? Mr. Has a Simpsons arcade game? I don't think it has an arcade game, but it... Oh, there was no home port for that either. No, it doesn't, Hugo. Somebody's going to have to make that. Who made that? Konami? Somebody's going to have to port those old Konami arcade games. I don't even, like, I'm so not a shooter person that I don't even know what makes a good shooter. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even, like... Like, this is cool, I guess. <laughs> it's a shooter. <laughs> I am shooting stuff. Remember when this is what a shooter used to be? Before it became a first-person shooter? Ooh, 
What's that? I also hate when shooters don't have auto fire. Like, why are you making me like just mash this button over and over again? Have a little humanity, for God's sakes. I really should have hooked up a uh, joystick. That would have been better. I don't know. Also, regular planes is kind of... I don't know. It's kind of cool how it's like I'm destroying the plane, though. Hey, yeah, that's neat. Uh oh I must be dying. Oh, I'm running out of fuel? Oh, I win. Eh. I was playing Back to the Future on NES so hard. <laughs> Those NES games are rough, man. I have been trying to beat uh, Ninja Gaiden for a couple of months now. <laughs> it is fucking hard. Gotta get that Game Genie. Yeah. Being a Titan main and complaining about mashing. <laughs> 80s and 90s super fighter planes. You can tell because they're all pointy and angular. I don't like this game. Um, let's move on. Daika, uh, Daima Kamara. That's just ghouls and ghosts. Or ghosts and goblins. Dynasty Wars. I played earlier. It sucks. It's like a beat em up, but it's like it's your guy on a horse. I don't know. I don't dig it. I'll show it to you, but. It's not my thing. Sell me. Is there so much money on that game? I wouldn't say wasted. Our type was cool. Thunder Force. I think Thunder Force 4. I played that um, for a video um, a bit ago. All right. I got it. And uh, I, I, I thought that was pretty cool. Thunder Force 4 for the Genesis. Let's select players. Hmm. Beard guy or crazy asshole? Let's go crazy asshole. Subdue Hang Ching. Wang Ching. Everybody field. Wang Ching. Right. So it's got two different buttons for attacking. One attacks to the left and one attacks to the right. And then there's just like a billion fucking dudes. So it's like, you know, a beat em up, but I don't know. It's. It's whatever to me. Like the graphics aren't very impressive. Or maybe they are. I don't know. It's impressive that they do so much on the screen. And those rocks in the background look good. But the guys are so small, there's no detail. Oh, it's a weird game. I never heard of it before. I wonder if it came out in America or if it's Japanese only. I don't know. That's that. Let's move on to a fun game. Final fight. You playing on the CRTV? The CRTV. See, like, uh, are you talking about like a a tube TV like that? CRT, CRT. Okay, CRT, right? Yeah, I have been, and it's pretty good. Like, games look these old games look better on that than on an LCD screen. Um, but you can get a lot of the effect of it by turning on a scaler or a um, um, scan lines. But I have those turned off because I think it's really hard to do that for the encoder.
Dynasty Warriors is an active series. I don't think that's Dynasty Warriors. It's Dynasty. Wait. Dynasty Wars. So I don't know if that's connected. Because isn't Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors Capcom? I thought it was a different company. That dude fucks. <laughs> Right, left, down, up. All right, Hagar. Let's do Hagar. Look at that mustache, man. That dude was rocking a mustache before it was cool. Fucking the one suspender look. Nobody pulls that off but Hagar. Nobody. Ah, somebody left a radio in the trash. I like that he's like, it's just normal punch goes right for the nuts too. You know, you gotta respect that. This guy means business. Like if we're fighting, I'm gonna hit you in the nuts. Like that's happening. <laughs> I'm going right for the balls. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's not fucking around. <laughs> Damn, I'm selling cat buff. <laughs> I mean, it's, it actually does remind you of Dynasty Warriors on a, a couple of different levels, though, doesn't it? Because it's like you're fighting so many guys. Yo, Motsal, thank you so much. Subscribe for 46 months. Keep this going. Oh, for Christmas time, PS5 trials carry. Yo, I'm really looking forward to the new consoles. Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody can beat with the Hagar nut, nut shot. It's just too strong. Thank you, Motsal. I really appreciate it, man. How you doing? Streets of Rage? This is Final Fight, man. Hero? Streets of Rage was for that Sega Genesis. And there was no arcade version of that, unfortunately. Although there is a Streets of Rage 5 that's coming out, or Streets of Rage 4 is coming out. I actually pre-ordered it from um, uh, Limited Run Games for the Switch. Hagar does not fuck around. Ow! <laughs> the pile driver, baby! Uh oh, I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, the sword went away. It must have been really annoying to be like a. Samurai. Like every time you drop your sword, it has a chance of just disappearing. Imagine how much money samurai spent on swords. Must have been intense. Alright, get up. Get up. You can't get up! Because I punched you in the balls too many times. Mr. Good Bites. 45 months. Thank you so much. Did you use the Konami code? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Good Bites. The Xbox sounds pretty cool, to be honest. Yeah, man. Both of them do. I'm hoping that Destiny uh, 2 is uh, like a day one release as well for both consoles. Like, I'd love to see Destiny on console be 60 FPS. And if it takes <laughs> fucking $500 worth of hardware to do it, fuck it. <laughs> Poison. Poison. That girl is poison. Who sang that song? Was that Bill Bibb DeVoe? BBD? Oh. Oh, Andre the Giant killed me. All right, let's move on. Next game. I don't know what Final Fight 30th Anniversary is edition is. I don't know if it's different or what. What's up, Biggins? How you doing? 
There's no way that D2 at 60 FPS takes 500 bucks in hardware. No, unless you're playing it on console. I'm pushing 90 on a cut rate 1060. Right, I'm just talking on console. Console. That's all I'm saying. On PC, you can do it for under 500 bucks. Is this different? Because it looks the same. Also, I've got to reset my buttons for every fucking game. Right, left, down, up. Start, coin, pause. No. I think this is just the same game. I, there might be differences, but we'll see. Oh, it's just guy? I can, oh, okay, no. Um, we'll go with guy. If I get next gen console, it'll be a PS5. I'd prefer it to be the Xbox, but it'll be the PS5. Why Xbox exclusives are on PC too? And there aren't any I care about. I think that's solid reasoning. I'll probably get both because like I I just do that. <laughs> um But if I were to get just one, like if they came out tomorrow and I was gonna buy just one, knowing what I know right now, it'd be the PS5. Just because I have a high powered PC already. But I, when I get the Xbox Series X, I definitely plan on getting it. I'm gonna probably just hook it up downstairs in the uh, living room. Guy looks like he's like not all there. <laughs> he's got like this like dead look on his face. I mean, Hagar is the obvious guy to play in this game. Obviously. Give these guys a good piping. Lay in some pipe if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna get the Xbox first, then when a new you got a war comes out, I'll probably get PS5. That, that's another way to think about it, is just get the one that has the better uh, the better games at launch. <laughs> you know? This is the same game. I'm gonna switch games. If they push PC and Xbox crossplay a little more, then I have no reason to get an Xbox, but that feels like a big if. I don't think there's gonna be a wrong answer. Seven fanboy, and you know episode two will be a PS5 exclusive, and episode three will be PS6 exclusive. <laughs> Ouch! Is there gonna be an episode three? Are they gonna just do two episodes or three episodes? I had always assumed it'd be three, but just because you don't get out of Midgar in one, are you enjoying Final Fantasy VII remake? The only PC controllers I have are N64. Confuses my kids really good. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I'm loving the remake. I'm loving it too. And I didn't like Final Fantasy VII originally, which I didn't expect to like it as much as I like it. I love it. This game is known to be hard as balls. I had it for the Genesis back in the day. And I remember talking to one of my friends a couple of years ago saying, because he mentioned that this game was hard as balls. And I'm like, it wasn't that hard. I used to be able to beat it. He's like, on Genesis? He's like, yeah, I remember you beating it. You used the cheat code, motherfucker. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I guess that's true. FF7 had a huge impact on me. It's why I'm a software dev. dev? No shit, really. I'm the same way with the original. I just don't think it stands up to the PS1 greats. You know, the Final Fantasy VII is one of the PS1 greats? I mean, most people do. I, I don't like it, but, you know, to each his own. Oh, you bastard. While I was up in the air, he popped up right behind me. 
There's gonna be a magician in there. Oh, no, no! Oh, fuck. <laughs> One of the those friends got me a job. My job of the last 10 years. No shit. Jeez, I'm bad at this. And it was just pure RNG that I played it. Dixie Smash! I've been subbed to you longer than I was married to my first wife. <laughs> oh, well, I expect a ring. <laughs> I don't see a ring on this finger. Thanks, you, Dixie. It's good to see you, man. The music feels... Oh, this music is great. I'm going to play uh, another round of this. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> if you love it, then you better put a ring on it. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, Dixie. Gold armor. But -da! that did nothing. It did nothing. <laughs> Stay away from that weapon. That's the worst weapon in the game. Remember that. Oops! I thought I was through it. Oh no no! Ah oh, fuck. I'm terrible. Great seeing you, bud. Great seeing you. My mom read in me a PS1 from Blockbuster for my birthday. I rented three games, got them home. All three were scratched to hell and unplayable. Went back and got more unplayable. Went back a third time, and the only game that they had left was Final Fantasy VII. And history was made. And that, all those games being scratched... Is now the reason that you you are in the career. Like, imagine the impact, the ripples. That's crazy. That's a crazy story, man. That's amazing. The ripples of all those scratch discs they've had on your life. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm a duck. This game is hard. <laughs> I know there's people who could beat this on, like, one quarter, which is crazy. Like, that's... That's amazing to me. I want to at least get to the fucking final boss. Or the first boss. I love this music. It's so good. All right. I'm like full concentration mode here. Fucking magicians, man. Just give me the goddamn knives. Stop fucking around with me. Give me the knives. Oh boy. What kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> that was crazy. There's no way I could get through that. <laughs> yeah. 
youngsters can play and games are too hard and need to watch this stream? <laughs> well, I mean, I make things look a, little, a lot more difficult than they really are. <laughs> In all honesty. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's going to happen? All right, here we go. I mean, these games were designed to be really difficult because, you know, they wanted you to put a ton of quarters in. Oh, shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Fuck it. <laughs> I got so into it that I earned, learned HTML to make a fan site, and that morphed into, with the help of friends, the number two site in the Yahoo Top 100 Final Fantasy sites. Remember, they used to have their Top 100 rankings? And we got shouted out by the character designer, Amano, on his... God damn, Mr. Goodbyes, how long have I known you? I never knew that. That's crazy. That's amazing. I bet I was a visitor. <laughs> I bet you were. Number two. That's amazing, man. How did I... Oh, did I run out of continues? All right. Serious mode. We're getting to that first fucking boss. <laughs> like, that's all I want. No! No! God damn it. He turned me into a duck again. All right, there we go. That fucking magician, man. I'll tell you. Real asshole. I just want to get to the first boss. <laughs> it's so funny. I used to think I was good at this game. <laughs> Maybe I was when I was a kid. It was funny when my buddy told me, though, that I used to cheat and I had no recollection of it. <laughs> I was like, I did? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I think the secret is to just fucking do this. Right? It's just do it. I'm here at Bo Jackson, this bitch. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, fuck this guy. Go on, die. Okay. All right, first boss. Here we are. What up, first boss boy? Oops. Well. <laughs> How did I ever think I was good at this game? <laughs> oh, it doesn't even start you at the first boss. The Genesis version will start you right back at the boss. <laughs> uh, core, let's see, Knights of the Round. I think this is another beat em up. People actually really like this game. But to me, it's just a beat em up. The one v one we've all been waiting for. Oh well. <laughs> Person who did the registration disappeared for a few months, and it lapsed, and someone else registered it immediately. Son of a bitch! Really? That's some bullshit. A lot of the games I used to be good at, I'm total ass on them now that I'm older. Really? So. I thought that too, but I think part of it was that maybe, no, I got to remember this. Part of it was that I was playing um, bad emulation. What, what just happened? Did I just reset the core? Oh, I did. And uh, it made the games ultra hard.
What's up, Bojo? My day is saved from the essential boringness of sitting in my office all day. <laughs> like, I remember playing Castlevania 4, which is not the most difficult Castlevania out there. In fact, it's relatively easy by Castlevania standards. Well, 2D Castlevania standards. On the Wii Virtual Console. And it was goddamn impossible because there was so much lag. I was playing it with a Wiimote, which is, you know, like um, wireless. I was playing it. Like, it looked shitty because it was bad emulation. And there was a ton of lag. Several decades. Castlevania 1? Yes. Castlevania 4? I don't think I've ever finished. But it's not a hard game. Like, I can play it right now and get to, like, level three or four in, like, the first... Before I have to continue. It's not hard. I just never have taken the time to, like, concentrate on it. Ca playing the first Castlevania game, I sat... This is a game I played for, like, a month. <laughs> That's, like, five levels of, like, just difficult fucking games. Aloha, George King. How you doing? Would said the man who is destined to be the king can pull. Whoops, has been training himself to be a knight. Pull, God damn, they, so fast. People must have read faster in the eighties. I don't know. <laughs> Castlevania Four is easier than Castlevania One by a long shot. Help each other and find it, brave men. Find what? Um, I've got to refill my coffee and go to the bathroom. I think we'll do a little bit more streaming, so I'll be back in uh, two minutes. Be right back, guys.
All right, we're back. Can't get rid of me that easy. The person who registered it back in 2002 is still active. So they just took over your website and just continued using it. That's fucked. That is so fucked. All right, so this is... Arthur, Percival, let's do Lancelot. They didn't do anything wrong? Oh, they didn't? I must have misunderstood the story. This game actually looks pretty good. I don't love the button layout for it, though. Do I have magic? No. So the, the A button is my jump. And the B button is my slash. I would switch those if I had the opportunity. Because I'm playing on like a Genesis style six button controller. Made us sad, but what can you do? Scorn. Oh, whoa, there is a special move. You gotta hit both buttons at the same time. Oh, it takes my life away though to do it. <laughs> that's that's always the thing with arcade games. Your special move always takes away your own life. Sucks. Have him. Yeah, that that story makes it sound to me like somebody stole the fucking website. <laughs> That's wrong. Even if it's like legal, it still is wrong. Yo, comply or else. Thank you so much for the subscription. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Meng. So, let me ask you. I, this is the first time I've streamed retro games. And obviously, you know, limited appeal. But, uh, like, I kind of, you know, I'm into this right now. Especially in a slow spot for Destiny. What do you guys think about like the stream layout? Do you like having the chat on the screen? Like I kind of figured like if you, people were on mobile or on a television, it'd be e nice to be able to see the, the chat even if you weren't participating. That way you you know what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> like you ever re like watch a ch watch a stream like afterward and like you can't understand what the person is talking about. Like that's kind of why I figured I put the chat on the screen cuz I got all that empty space. Because it's still a 16 by 9 stream. So I figured putting the chat on there would be cool. I was also thinking maybe I'd put like the box art for the game on there. Or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Love the retro games? Love the layout? Oh, nice. You dig it? Good. Is that your free CRT behind you that you got from Craigslist? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little guy. It's a 20 inch. And for reference, the other TV, that TV. That... That, t that TV is a 32-inch LCD, and that's a 20-inch CRT. I, had them, I have them side-by-side side just to see, like, what, what really is the difference? Because I, I thought it'd be interesting to just kind of... 
you know, check it out for myself. This dude's got a horse. Can I get on the horse if I knock this guy off? Can I knock this guy off? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. I got a horse now, motherfuckers. What's up? What's up now? Oh, uh, well. That's fun while it lasted. What the? Oh, shit. So the jump button, when you're on the horse, the jump button makes you switch directions. Which is weird. For a beat em up, this game is kind of fun. It'll be more fun with two players, I bet. Level up. What's that do? I'm level three. What's that mean? The only the thing I forgot to do when I was setting up the stream layout was put the notifications on. Just dummy, dummy move. I will say though, like well, since I've been playing with the CRT, these old games, man, they definitely look better with scan lines. I think that a CRT is it's good, but I I found that my OLED TV with scan lines was pretty much on par with the CRT. Um, that LCD back there is not a very good LCD. Let me get in there, <laughs> nice. You're in, buddy. You gotta put a quarter on the cabinet. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! Grafford. Alright. Come on here, Brafford. Oh, oh, damn it. Uh, if I could can continue. Uh, why can't I continue? All right. Anyhow, I'm gonna switch to the next game. Core. That was Knights of the Round. Magic Sword. They came out with Magic Sword on the SNES, and uh, some people really like it. His horseback. <laughs> If you ever do any speed running or randomizers, you could throw that over there too and shrink down chat some too. Uh oh. This game's kind of lends itself to having something there. Yeah, something needs to go there for sure. I was thinking like box art. I don't know. Like I'll look at the stream after um after I finish it up. And is it might be that chat is just too damn small to read. Um maybe I've got to make it bigger. I don't know. It might be too small to read on a phone. On a TV, though, you could probably read it okay, but most people are mobile, right? Right, left, down, up. Start, coin, pause, no. And let's try and save in the settings, because it seems like it's forgetting the settings when I leave the core. Ninja. All right. Push start button, one player only. One thing about the 80s, barbarians and ninjas were fucking in. There were a ton of movies and video games about barbarians and ninjas. <laughs> we were obsessed. <laughs> I 
So you can get these kind of helpers in this game. Ow, where'd that knife come from? This guy fucks. <laughs> but I remember playing the SNES version of this game and not being like ultra impressed. But I'm having fun playing this version. Put a coin in. Can't just hit start like some kind of console pleb. This is the arcade, motherfucker. You put a coin in. One coin, one play. On an iPhone X size screen in landscape with chat on, it's a little small, but with chat off, it's legible. And if your concern is replays, I think it would be fine. Okay. Make a shitty game as long as there were ninjas out there to sell the kids. Hey, insane. What's going on, man? Invertible, I can't make out the chat. Okay, I, maybe if I just make the chat bigger. You know what I mean? Like, less on screen, but the words would be bigger. I could do that. Go into an arcade with my mom, and she would give me five bucks. Five bucks at an arcade? I remember taking it to the change machine and thinking I was rich. 20 quarters can last me all day. 15 minutes later, I was asking for more money. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how my arcade experience went, too. <laughs> And like five bucks felt like a lot of money, you know, like <laughs> no joke. Either way, I'm increasing the font size on chat by a point or two would probably be perfect. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that for the next time. I'm not going to mess with it now. But thank you, Mr. Goodbye. I really appreciate it. These are kind of pig those guys here. This is kind of got the legendary axe feature. If you don't use your your weapon, it actually charges it up. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, we got a magician on our side. Oh, that's a ninja. I want the ninja. Ninja time. Oh, I missed the ninja. Holy shit, there's a lot on the screen. Big bear. Big bear chase. Uh oh. Get my butt kicked now. Oh, jeez. Uh, I got the alarm. The I'm about to die alarm. Okay, next game. Core. Mega Man Power Battle. This is a weird game. I should be encouraging this. It's hard enough for me to focus on work from home as it is. <laughs> I've been using the arcade at Great Wolf Lodge to teach my four-year-old about ROI. The fewer tokens you spend with great return on tickets, toddler whack-a-mole equals bank. <laughs> Bank. All right, this looks fucked up to me. How's it look on stream? I don't think it looks okay on stream. I'm gonna reset. Sometimes the Mister just needs a, a nice reset. The Great Outdoors, love that movie. Big Bear, 
Big Bear Chase. Big Bear Chase. <laughs> All right. Mega Man Power Battle. Here we go. We got to set up our joystick. I've heard this game is very easy. I'll probably disprove that. Right, left, down, up. One, two, three. Start. Coin. Pause. No. Save. All right. Been using the. Okay, the great outdoors. Okay. All right, so this is like a boss rush. It's like a Mega Man boss rush that came to the arcades. I don't think this ever came to uh, consoles. I might be wrong, though. My Mega Man knowledge isn't all that. We'll just go with standard old Mega Man. Core select, one, two, three, six, seven. Let's go with one, two. Uh, okay. I don't think I've ever played this. Looks crazy. This is a seizure ha waiting to happen. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Do I have a slide in this? Okay, I do. Oh, shit. Oh, he's almost dead, though. That wasn't that hard. <laughs> yeah. Best Mega Man player ever. Didn't come to consoles till 2004. What, what, when did it actually come out to arcades? Did it come out as part of a compilation? It seems like it'd be a part of a compilation, like a Mega Man collection, right? I'm guessing early 90s, late 80s for this. Woodman. And then I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can use the powers of the guys you just got. You've killed. Oh, God. Oh, I thought I could knock him out of that. I wish there was a separate slide button. Oh, I died. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'll continue. I am I ain't nearly Mega Man up yet. There we go. Arcade was ninety five. It was a collection. Environmentally un unfriendly level. <laughs> Kill wood. It's Woodman. It's morning Woodman. <laughs> you got a new weapon the leaf shield game looks pretty good heat man oh, the little guy whoa <laughs> Oh, shit. All 
I actually kind of like this game. I think it's pretty fun. It's... It's definitely a Mega Man game, but it's got like a different feel because there's it's just like a boss rush. That guy was pretty easy. Is this Cuphead Madness? <laughs> it's a goddamn Zippo. <laughs> it is a Zippo. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> it's totally a Zippo. You got a new weapon. Atomic Fire. Fire! Iceman. If I use fire, I wonder if that does more damage. Let's try. Oh, what is this bullshit? Mm -mm. No, no. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Uh oh. Die. What's with the whale in the background? It's like a mechanical whale. Ice Slasher. Yeah, I'll tell you, the CRTs, man, you can get them for free now. You just go on Craigslist, look near you, and just type in like Sony TV. <laughs> cost zero <laughs> people are just giving away there's one in my um region it's a 36 inch cr tv from i think 2006 that tv costs money when that person bought it i guarantee it was an expensive ass tv and now they're just giving it away for free because like what are you gonna do with it now all right we're gonna move on uh, Mega Twins? I don't know what this is. The whale from Pinocchio? Yeah, people are just giving these things away now. And they're, they used to be super expensive um, TVs. Like, And a 36-inch CRT, that weighs over 200 pounds. So you got to bring a friend to come pick something like that up. That's why I went with a little 20-inch. 20 because 20 I'm like, look, this is just for like some fun. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to keep this thing hooked up all the time. I just want to check out some old retro games on a CRT and see if I like it. Um, so I got the CRT, a 20-inch CRT, and it, it's really fun. It's fun to play these old games on 15 years later. What's going on here? Mega Twins. Oh, I got to set this game up, too. Define right, left, down, up. Start, coin, pause. Let's save the settings. I'm hoping that by saving the settings, it'll save. So next time I play the game, I'll just remember. I don't really need to name myself here, do I? Are you ready? Let's start. I'm ready. Are you ready? It's like a Wonder Boy game. Oh, this is charming as fuck. Are those pickles? I gotta beat those pickles, man. This is <laughs> charming. <laughs> is this the boss? That's quick. The strategy, man. The strategy. Just one shot that boss, Dark Souls style. Oh. 
Oh, that's that's kind of a neat effect. What's going on here? Oh, you're getting wall jump. <laughs> I've never heard of or played this game before, but I am now in love. <laughs> oh, I want this chest. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, just fall off. Be good. This feels very Wonder Boy. dead I can tell it's complaining you just start where you left off oh this wouldn't be very hard to beat considering you got unlimited continues Special move. Did you see that? That was pretty dope. Uh oh, I'm on fire. Is he dead? Oh, yeah. One shot. <laughs> That's the one shot. Welcome, warrior. Goddess of Earth. The people read so fast. Oh, this is, I'm now flying. Oh, this is weird. What a charming game. <laughs> right. I like this game. I'm going to play more of that. Let's play Mercs. My game is lovely. It's just lovely. It's wholesome, you know? Just got a piece of beard hair stuck in my mouth. Gross. All right, Mercs. Remember the the game Narcs? Narc. <laughs> Narc. I remember that game. So this one's in Tate mode. Tate mode. Your typical Arnold Schwarzenegger commando, Rambo, Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, dude, mowing down an army. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I gotta fight a Harrier? <laughs> oh God! Oh, fuck this. This doesn't seem fair. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, okay. I got it. That was when they introduced the ESRB after that game, after NARC. NARC. All right, I'm not really into this. I'm gonna Nemo. Let's see what Nemo is. I wonder if this is like the um, console version. What was it? What was the name of that game? Nemo, Little Nemo, Little Nemo in the Dream Waker, Little Nemo in the something like that. Game is for use in all countries, excluding the United States of America, Japan. <laughs> all right, this one looks another charmer. Here's another charmer. Since you're streaming, I guess I could slip in some emergency questions that were a little too much for DCP. It's gonna take a while to type, so be patient. It's coming. Oh, I can't wait. Too much for DCP. <laughs> I'm in. Stupid blimps. Fuck your Zeppelin, dude. <laughs> so I could jump on things or hit them with my, like, magic wand. Like, okay, so this game came out on the same hardware <laughs> as Street Fighter 2. So I'm assuming it was about the same time, right? Around the same time. So can you imagine yourself walking into an arcade, seeing this game, and seeing Street Fighter 2 in Mortal Kombat? <laughs> like, and thinking this game. I'm going to put my quarter into this game. <laughs> I mean, nothing against this game. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just a, a weird thing. <laughs> Why am I thinking Harry Potter? <laughs> Got a little vibe to it, doesn't it? <laughs> Imagine walking up, you see, like, some creepy old dude playing this. You'd be like, oh, that's a little creepy, man. <laughs> basically me if you walked into an arcade and saw me playing this you'd be like uh <laughs> what you doing man <laughs> this game seems like it would have been better suited as a home game What was the cartoon? The NES game was Little Nemo, the Dream Master. Freaking love that game. Yeah, I think this is the same. That was a Capcom game, wasn't it? Little Nemo, the Dream Master. But this is this guy looks more like a. I don't know. I'm thinking like a seven, eight, nine year old. I always thought Little Nemo was like a younger kid. Maybe not. Maybe I was. I mean, graphics on the NES were all that. They were enough to get the job done, but. Ooh, is that a treasure map? Oh, I can crawl. Oh, I can die. <laughs> this is, I'm like on a bookshelf. And these are little, little toy soldiers. This is a charming game. Oh. Sorry. 
Like, it definitely seems more than, like, a 16-bit console would have been capable of, right? This looks dangerous. Ow! <laughs> I gotta jump on this thing? Oh, that's cool. What just happened? Oh, this ain't good. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit that thing. Okay. Hey, all right. Okay, here we go. Hugo's got the chat question. Would you rather date a man who is six foot tall? Oh, who is a six foot tall penis? Or a man who, instead of having a penis, had a tiny man? The six foot penis would have a face on his helmet, but is otherwise just a huge penis without, without the balls. He would be wearing a suit jacket with, a, with false arms to give him more human appearance. The tiny man would be living with his feet implanted in the host man, but be a separate individual with his own personality. He, in turn, would have a tiny man instead of a penis and so on. Dude, I'm definitely going with option two. You got like a normal dude with a dude for a penis? Wait, uh, let me read this again. Date a man who is a six foot tall penis or a man who instead of having a penis. Yeah, I definitely want the regular dude with another dude as a dick. That's obvious. That's an easy one. <laughs> option two, right? Comply or else is right. No brainer, option two. Where's the legal doc to explain how he can't avoid the question? <laughs> <laughs> there is no wrong answer. <laughs> there is no wrong answer. What the hell is Panicky's? Yeah, I mean, option option one is weird, right? Like, you go to dinner and something, everybody's going to be like, why, is that guy, why did that guy bring a giant-sized dick with him to dinner? <laughs> option two is like, nobody knows this guy's got a person for a dick. It's just a regular dude unless you pull his pants down. Option two, be considered pulling at me. Hey, I, I watched Tiger King. I'm in. I'm into the whole lifestyle. <laughs> I gotta move the camera. Sorry. I think the wires keep pulling the camera off to the to the side a little bit. <laughs> How about option one? A woman who has a six foot tall vulva. <laughs> <laughs> or a woman who instead of a vagina had a tiny woman living in a burrow <laughs> between her legs. That's a harder question. Cool comment. Thank you so much for two months, man. Welcome back to streaming. Cool comment. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thank you so much and welcome back. <laughs> yeah, a six foot tall vulva. That's not great. <laughs> I mean, she's just basically, she's crippled at that point, right? There's nothing she could do. This is uh, apparently a uh, a game I don't really want to play. I'm guessing. <laughs> and it's Japanese. Totally harder. Imagine pissing off option two. Oh, my God. Oh, they're going to team up on you, right? Because you got a woman and then another woman, and they're going to team up on you when you get in trouble. You are fucked. Uh, what the hell am I doing here? This is a puzzle game. I don't even want to begin to think about how bad that would be to angry woman. <laughs> right? And like, they're always going to be mad at you because they're just mad. I mean, they're in a shitty situation, so they're just going to be pissed all the time. <laughs> like, that's, that's a no-win situation right there. And one has total control. <laughs> I think I think BJ's are gonna be a big deal in this situation. <laughs> Two hours reading those books every Thursday as I try to find one that is suitable and within the character limit. 
Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> Alright, quiz and dragons. We're gonna quiz Street Fighter. We did our Street Fighter stuff. Strider. Here we go. Strider. I love this game. That the six foot tall vulva. I mean, that woman is not doing anything, right? Like she has got a serious problem, like moving around, like buy, buy a pants. She's a dress lady, like skirts and dresses only for her. Long dresses too, no mini skirts. <laughs> a tiny woman living in a burrow between her legs. <laughs> hey, what are you doing up there? <laughs> no pants, no pants for this one. <laughs> Left down, up, one, two, three, start, coin, pause, no, save. All right, who remembers this game? Does anybody remember this game? Thumbelina. <laughs> Slugs move around, okay. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Look forward to your question every week to the podcast. I do too. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's put some money in this bad boy and get it started. Strider. Did anybody play Strider? Like the original or the Genesis version back in the day? If you did, this is going to look super familiar. The Genesis version was a really good arcade port. Like, unless you're like looking at them like side by side, it's hard to actually tell them apart. I think like the there's more frames of animation on the arcade version and stuff like that, but there's no way to be delicate with a six foot tall vulva. No way you satisfy that. <laughs> I am not the man. I am not the man to take on that challenge. <laughs> I'm not man enough for that vulva. <laughs> Understand the rules between these behind these helper robots. Like, do they take damage, or are they just around for like a little bit of time? I've never been real sure about that. I know that if you have them during boss fights, they just destroy bosses for you. Boss one defeated. <laughs> it's totally leaving you for a six month tall penis. <laughs> You're a Patreon member. You're the reason that Twitter questions need to come from there too. <laughs> no character limit. <laughs> we used to do the Twitter questions. We used to prioritize the Patreon for uh, Twitter questions. Um, but we just stopped getting any questions. So I think we stopped. This game, they had a Genesis version of this, which was the, an arcade port. It was basically a, as good as they could do on the Genesis to make this an arcade game. And they did a good job. It was a really good port. Um, and there was also an NES version of this, or an NES Strider game, but it was independently developed and it was nothing like this. That was more like a, almost a, uh, like a Metroidvania-ish game. And it was okay, but it, it didn't seem like it was finished. 
Like it was buggy. Hey, MSGs, what's going on, man? You always have somewhere warm to strong snuggle. <laughs> Been seen in public with a six foot tall boba? <laughs> oh, that was not the pause button. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> I have no idea how you guys do your Twitter posts and stuff, but you need to automate that shit if it's not automated. It's not automated. What I do is um, around 7 p.m. every day, or on Thursdays at 7 p.m., I just go through it all, and I make a list. I've got a, a sheet that has three lines on it, and, like, the serious Destiny stuff I put toward the top. The less serious Destiny stuff I kind of put toward the middle, and, like, if, if there's other game questions, I'll put that in the middle as well. And then by the end, it's just the ridiculousness. That's where Hugo Rune always ends up. At the bottom <laughs> with the ridiculous questions like if there's questions about um you know food or like weird stuff like butt stuff <laughs> you know the, the end of the show stuff you know and like i could definitely automate something so that it would make a list but i don't think i could automate it so it would like be smart enough to make the content or the I don't think I'd be ah oh, shit game over so there's no continues in this I can't just put in another quarter and start keep playing so it's really hard like in the Genesis version I could just I could continue but in the arcade version there's no continues what game is this this is Strider so today I'm playing um Capcom arcade games that came out on a certain board called the CPS one it's the one that Street Fighter came out on Uh, I'm going to play again because I like this game. But I wish there was continues. I wonder, like, if there were dip switches on these games that had stuff like continues and difficulty. Like, I don't understand why there wouldn't be continues. You would think it's an arcade game. You'd want people to put more quarters in. Or maybe it's just a bug, too. It could be just a bug. You know, this is a beta version of this this core so it could be that it's just a bug ah that was not worth This might be the easiest boss in the history of video game. <laughs> I mean, do you, to do the posting in the first place, schedule your tweets to go at X time and the Patreon questions thread to go out at the same time? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not in charge of that. I used to be in charge of that, but I'm not in charge of that anymore. Um... You guys know Ares, right? Mr. Ares? He does all that for us now. As well as other stuffs. Mr. Ares and, um... And Pope Bear are kind of like behind the scenes. Oh shit. There's a fuck ton of flicker in this game. <laughs> I 
seem to remember if you have the long sword against this boss, you can kill it pretty damn quick. Oh, I just lost the long sword. There we go. Is the internet correct that Willow is on the CPS one? Yes, it is. So being the new server video calls, a lot audio only access on the pre-show podcast itself again into the the new in-server video calls. Oh, shit, that's not pause. Allow audio only access so the pre-show can now continue into the podcast itself. Oh, I see. I don't know. That might, might be. Uh, we're going to actually look at some other options for uh, the calling. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, I hit that thing. This part is hard. part is awesome. <laughs> oh, really? This whole, like, mountainside is covered with mines, so you gotta stay away. You gotta keep jumping as you go down. Oh, I missed it. Oh, game over. Just tuned into the 80s. <laughs> Just hoping. Okay, in case you hadn't seen, video calling is rolling out to Discord servers this week. That's how we do Discord now. That's how we do video calls now. In Discord. I love how this is your retro, and my retro is like 1999. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world are you streaming? CPS1. Uh, it's an arcade board from the late 80s, early 90s. It's the arcade board that Street Fighter 2 was on. It just came out as a core for the uh, Mister. The Mister. I'm playing with my Mister. Tefty growing his friends list. You're doing it through. Oh, okay. So it's it's changing. Briar, have you been playing Risk Urban Assault for five hours and didn't realize it? What's a Risk Urban Assault? <laughs> King of Dragons! 1991. Let's set up controls. And save settings. Okay, so this is another beat em up. All right, we got some options. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Insert coin.
That seems useless. I like how the gold bags have G on them. Gold! <laughs> this game is sparking any joy for me whatsoever. What's a boss look like in this game? Oh, damn! Okay, I leveled up. What's that mean exactly? <laughs> Dwarf defeated the Orc King. This guy can call me Dwarf. Dude, I occupy the weird era of time where analog was still briefly relevant, but phased out by the time I was 10. I've got the weirdest possible era to pull from, retro. From the N64, PS1, PS2 era. Hmm. So none of the Genesis stuff. That's all. That's how my kids are. It's like they've never played a Genesis game or a Super Nintendo game or an NES game. And there's some great stuff. I mean, just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad. But this is not sparking joy. I'll be honest. I'm not loving it. Let's switch it up. Three Wonders? Don't know what that is. I've never heard of this one. Maybe it's a small wonder video game. <laughs> what was the girl's name from Small Wonder? There's a speedrunner who streams using an SNES camera. <laughs> there was an SNES camera? What is that? This is the reason streaming wasn't a thing in the 80s? <laughs> also, there was no internet in the 80s. <laughs> that didn't exist yet. Chariot shooting. Oh, is this like three wonders? It's three different games. Uh, check out this one. <laughs> like 8 billion Olympic games in it. This guy looks like an asshole. Right? Doesn't he? <laughs> I think that's what they describe nowadays as a punchable face. What does he got? Like an air gun? Like this magical world and he's got like this gun that shoots arrows? Oh, now she's knives. Okay, it's got like the ghouls and ghosts armor thing. I'm kind of digging this game. I'm not going to lie. I'm having fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to move on now. UN Squadron. This is another shooter. Looks like a minor boss in a Scott Pilgrim game. <laughs> it's Will Ferrell and a Elf. <laughs> the futuristic games and films you used to watch and play as a kid were set in 2010. Yeah, right? Seriously. I think it's a Game Boy camera being used on the Super Game Boy. That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. All right, this is just a shooter. Um, you know. It's a shooter. People like it. I'm not a shooter fan, so I don't really know.
I think this came out on the Super Nintendo as well. I think people like it there as well. But I'm not really a shooter person. I don't know much about shooters. Maybe it's just me, but there's something less fun about playing a shooter with like Like military stuff, like real world military stuff. Well, I guess this is, doesn't look very real world. <laughs> you know, like then like having like space and stuff. I don't know. I like how there's just like this picture of your pilot like just sitting at the top of the screen. I think Tefty visited the stream and just passed right out. It took three hours to bring him back to consciousness. All right, I'm switching games. Barth, I think this is a possibly another uh, shooter. Have you been jumping into trials every week? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not no. <laughs> All right, we'll check this out, but. Smart or fixed? We'll go smart. I remember the half pipe and not comprehending it and basically breaking my character's legs all the time in California games. I don't remember the half pipe. I only remember the surfing and the hacky sack in that game. Wait, all the shooters for this system are like military theme. This one's at least a little uh, sci-fi. That's wide shot. This one actually looks pretty cool though. With the parallax. I can see putting some time into this. This is actually a cool looking game. Oh, it's got auto fire. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's got like a limited auto fire. Now we start getting some spread. I'm actually getting into this. This is kind of a neat game. Oh, fuck. Why does the laser always suck? <laughs> Lasers are cool in every place except for video games. In video games, they're always like, ah, oh, fuck, I got the laser. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch games. Willow. Willow. All right, Briar, I got to head to the office real quick to sign some paperwork. Be safe, and thank you for streaming. You really do make our days better. Oh, man, Hero, you're too kind, man. Have an awesome day. Drive safe. Still playing Destiny at all? Yeah, yeah. All right, Hero Willow is actually a pretty cool game. Willow got an NES game as well, uh, but it's completely different. It's more like a Zelda game um, on the NES. That's how I remember it anyway. 
It's been a long time since I played it. Do you want to set up alternate buttons? And save settings. Hopefully that saves. I'm hoping that I don't have to do that every time. Super game from Capcom coming this summer. A magnificent fantasy filled with love, friendship, and adventure. Willow. Willow. <laughs> All right. Insert coin. Press the start button. I like this game. I only there was a Willow machine at my um, a bowling alley that wasn't far from my house. It was kind of far. It wasn't that far, but I only got to play it a couple of times, and I liked it. I remember liking it a lot, and I loved the movie. I actually watched it again with my wife like a week ago. <laughs> I think it was literally last week. And we both loved it. I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. But you start as Willow, and if you're good enough, if you make it to the second level, you actually get to play as Mad Mardigan. Ah, oh, you fucker. This is a store, but I don't have enough money yet. Teach the Young Ones, Will, Will of the Movie was amazing. Hell yeah, it was. That movie's like still really good. There's a couple of scenes that don't hold up that well, but most of it's pretty good. The story's great. Um, like the... Um, who plays Mad Mardigan? What's his name? I always forget his name. After we watched Willow, uh, we had to watch uh, Real Genius with the same guy. Because we were having so much fun, like, kind of... What is that guy's name? I was more of a fan of Legend with a young Tom Cruise and Tim Curry as the devil. Legend was cool, too. Willow was more, um, you know, it was less serious. Legend was serious. Willow was a little more fun. Or lighthearted. I shouldn't say fun. It was more lighthearted. Who the fuck played Mad Mardigan? Come on. Somebody in chat has to know who played Mad Mardigan. No Labyrinth or Flight of the Navigator, but still great. <laughs> Val Kilmer. Thank you. Thank you. Val Kilmer. <laughs> Val Kilmer. All right, so that is all the CPS1 games. I think we went through all of them. Um, and then, you know, if you are interested in a mister, there's also, you know, a ton of other stuff you can play. There's so much to play. Um, you know what? Let's end the stream. I'm going to end the stream with Strider for the Genesis. Let's see, be here. Strider, Strider return sex, but Strider. Then we must raid, then we must raid. Who should we raid? Is Watts playing Final Fantasy VII? I've been watching Watts play Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I haven't watched Tefty play. I wanna watch Tefty play too. Did Tefty stream last night? Does anybody know? <laughs> Weird way to say X Men on the Sega. <laughs> <laughs> she is right now. Okay, we'll raid Watts. Uh, so you can see there's scan lines. I've got scan lines. I don't know if they actually come through. I'll turn those off. But I play with scan lines on. 
Um, but I think they don't look great if you're playing on, uh, or if you're streaming. Oh, dick. So you can see, this is a pretty faithful port of that arcade game. I actually have uh, photos. I still have them. I should break them out. Of me playing this game as a kid with my best friend, Andy. And we took photos of the game and us playing it. Because we're fucking nerds. <laughs> that guy's much tougher on the Genesis than in the arcade. <laughs> I don't know, the graphics are almost blown out more. Like, the Strider looks actually bigger on the Genesis. But not quite animated quite as well. Last emergency question for tonight, then. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be able to rewind time by 20 seconds only once per day or touch God's cock? Rewind time, man. What am I going to do with God's cock? That seems like useless. <laughs> I mean, although, <laughs> now that I think about it a little bit more, you know, maybe he enjoys like a reach around every once in a while. Maybe I could get some real benefit off of that. <laughs> you know, a little, a little, uh, I pat your back, you, you reach around my back. <laughs> But you will be the guy who touched God's cock. Yeah, that's true. I'd have to have a conversation with God first. Like, kind of set some rules. Some rules. <laughs> Everyone knows God is female, right? Alanis Morissette is God. Didn't you know that? <laughs> Most interesting Korean question. Uh, I haven't. Does he still put in questions? I don't feel like I've seen one of his questions in a while. Yeah, we gotta we gotta establish some ground rules with God. Cause I feel like the last time God really set some rules, things have changed. You know, Jesus came around and changed some of the rules. <laughs> that eye for an eye shit doesn't fly no more. <laughs> time over. God damn it. <laughs> Pre or post nerf? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> we gotta establish if our if our uh, god is pre or post nerf. <laughs> Ever since Jesus nerfed God. <laughs> I I prefer the Bible before the the Jesus patch. <laughs> Oh, that's bullshit. That dude's laser should disappear. <laughs> Bible 1.0? Right. I mean, the beta Bible was the shit. They took out a lot of stuff when the uh, 1.0 came around. That was really good stuff. It wasn't finished. You know, it was, the beta Bible was good, though. <laughs> the beta Bible was the shit. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thank you all so much for hanging out. It's so great to see you all again. I'm definitely going to be doing this more often. There's going to be some Destiny streams coming up. I've got to practice PvP Destiny. Um, I've got to get into a little bit more PvP. Um, also, uh, I've been really having fun with the with the old games, so there's definitely going to be some more retro gaming coming along. Um, some NES stuff that I would like to play. Um, this was kind of weird because I was really just going through a list of games, checking them all out. Um and I don't think that's going to be very usual, but Gary return. Oh, I'd love to see Gary. I haven't seen Gary in forever. I, me and Wilson were playing um, with Gary a couple of months ago. I haven't seen him since.
Yo, comply. That's very nice. <laughs> Do you listen to DCP? <laughs> Bly, that's so nice, man. Thank you so much. Gary was on D2 this morning. Oh, uh, was he? He might be asleep. No, he wouldn't be asleep by now. He might be asleep by now. Hugo, what time is it over there? All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to raid Miss 5000 Watts. Let me uh, get this thing together. Slash raid. I always misspell Miss 5000 Watts, so I'm actually going to go to her channel and just copy it. Uh, Twitch. No, that's, that's not it. Twitch. Oh, it's spelled pretty normally. <laughs> I don't know why I would have trouble with that. <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out. I really love you guys. Have an <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, have an awesome day, and we'll see you real soon. This is uh, the streaming is going to continue more often, especially in these times of the cough cough. Thank you guys, and we'll see you later. <laughs>